Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to an exciting and new video. Uh, today's video, I will be talking about uh, the new patch that came out. It came out like maybe like a week ago now. Um, so I thought I'd just go over it. Also, I'll be announcing a new series at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around for that. Um, it will be starting very, very soon. But I thought I'd get out to you guys and, and get your, um, your take on the series. Because I want you guys to be interactive with the next series that we have on the channel. And I mean, we want AFL Evolution to keep improving, keep getting better. So hopefully we can do that. So um, this patch, I think, come out maybe like a week ago, maybe? A week ago for the PlayStation. It's actually been out on the PC for a very long time. Um, they actually increased a few things on gameplay. So like the difficulty of set shots have been changed. Uh, then they now scale uh, the difficulty. So from like the distance within goal. They've also added like the AI to be a little bit smarter, which I really like. Um, the AI isn't kicking off the ground as much as they were before. Um, when not under pressure near a goal, an AI, an AI will probably pick up the ball instead of kicking it through the goals. Um, soccer kits, kicks can now bounce to a teammate um, or opponent. So I think last time they basically just went along the ground. So um, they've changed that as well. They've also added a gameplay slider to control scoring frequency, um, which I really, really like. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes the games a little bit more realistic. Um, I think they may have like done a little bit of work to the game. I mean, the game looks a lot different. I mean, not different, but some little aspects of the game definitely looks better. And they've also changed the goal kicking slider. So if you guys have had a set shot, had a, had a crack at trying to kick the goals, um, you guys would have probably noticed that. They've also fixed some camera angle issues. Um, I honestly don't know why this like, these are little things, but they actually do, they actually do change quite a lot in the game. It makes the game a little bit more better uh, to play and it. it definitely makes it a lot more enjoyable. Um, they've all, they've, I think they've, they've kicked, the, they've added actually end-to-end -end for free marks camera option for side. So I don't really know what that means, but I mean, if you guys want to test that out, go give that a go. Uh, presentation, they've added some uh, post-screen uh, like uh, animation, so re replay cutscenes, they've added them in. I don't really know why they weren't in the game when the game released. Um, they also added intro sequences for the day, which I'll show you guys a little bit, a bit later on when I announce... Uh, the new series that I'll be going doing on the channel, um, which will probably be one of the most immersive series on the channels. Um, they're fixed facial animation for some cutscenes, so players might have a little bit of emotion on their faces, which is a really cool ad. Um, I feel like this game can keep getting better and better, and then once we get um, to AFL Evolution 3, if that ever does come out on the PS5, like they honestly do have a lot to improve. Like, they've, they've improved a lot from AFL Evolution 2, if you guys uh, go check that one out. They've also... I'll change the few of the stadiums, so the stadiums look a lot different. The cheer squads um, will be at their right end, like you've got the Tigers here, always at the Punt Road, they'll be down there. Um, they've also added field sponsors, so as you guys can see in the middle of the ground here, they've got the Coles logo in the middle of the ground, which is a nice little ad. Um, that looks pretty good. And um, They've also added options to turn off individual cutscene types, so like if you don't want to see certain cutscenes, you actually like you don't have to see it, um, which is a cool little ad. And uh, yeah, like I said, now some of the career competition um, uh, features they've fixed. They've fixed an issue where players from like the human team could go directly to the draft, causing them to retire, or causing them not to retire. Um, so basically, you're getting 50 year old players in your 13th year of your AFL sub uh, AFL like season, which you don't really want. You definitely want people to uh, be retiring and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they've, they've fixed a, a lot of stuff about the career and competition. Go check that out. But the, like I said, the game definitely feels a lot better. It's got a lot more flow into it. I mean, I play with like my own sliders, but the, like I said, the game definitely has uh, some different things. They've also added a new competition, so you actually can play the 2020 AFL season, which I will be doing. Like I said, I'll be announcing the new series, but I'll be doing that. It's basically like a COVID season, which is a nice little add into the thing. And that's where they've basically added all the cutscenes, so you guys will be able to see like the intros to when your team is playing and all that kind of stuff. They've uh, they've basically they've added the ability to change the away team lineup, which I don't really know why they've got that. Now that doesn't really make sense, but that's the competition. I think it's just to make the game a little bit more realistic. You can actually be versing teams, and the teams won't be playing their second-rate players. Uh, teams will be rolling out their full players, and, and I mean it definitely will make a lot of sense uh, down the road. So that I mean they've, they've fixed some online stuff as well, which I mean you guys can go in and feel. I see. I don't really play too much online. I mean if you guys want to verse me online, let me know. I definitely would. Um, they've added a shortcut button to access team management in the pause menu, which is a nice little add. They can also you can actually change team lineup for the opponent in single match where there's only one player. Uh, they fixed the match center where games are having um, incorrect like scores and all that kind of stuff. And there's all there's all there's all there's many more fixes um, that they've added into the game. So make sure to go check them out. But like I said, I'll be announcing a new series on the channel. So uh, with the 2020 AFL. Uh, 
I'd say competition added to the league. I wanted to do like a COVID season, so it's going to be called a COVID season. I know that's pretty bad, but I mean, this is the COVID season, the COVID Cup. Um, I will be partaking in the COVID Cup, so, and I've already picked my team. I've seen a lot of people request this team for other videos. Now, this won't be starting until the Essendon series is finished for the, uh, season number two. So we've still got another few more weeks left in that. Once that's finished, this one will begin, but um. I'm basically, I have to announce the team right now. So let's get into it. The team that I'll be coaching in the COVID Cup season, the 2020 AFL season is about to be announced. And I mean, I've seen a lot of people talk about this team. Um, a lot of people have been asking about this team. So here it is. We'll be coaching the Western Bulldogs for the season 2020 COVID Cup. I hope you guys are ready for the season. I want this to be immersive as possible. Um, I'll just be telling you guys about some features that I'll be adding into this series. Um, that should be a lot of fun. So I'm going to be starting this once the Essendon season finishes. Like I said, the COVID Cup will begin. Um, you can play the, I think you can play the 17, 17 games that, uh, that the, the teams actually play throughout the season. So I'll be playing at Metricon, we'll be doing all that kind of stuff. Um, I will be adding in my own created player and it's going to be our own created player. So um, I'm asking you guys right now, what should our created player's name should, what, what name should he be? What position should he play? He's going to be playing for the Bulldogs. We're going to try and get him a premiership with this team. And we're going to try and lead this Bulldogs team to, to win uh, the 2020 COVID Cup season. So uh, the AFL season finished last week. I decided to start this, this season. Um, honestly, can't wait to get into it. I want your guys' opinion on how I can make this immersive. Uh, the first thing is we're having... Uh, the creative player who will be our creative player the J21 creative player We'll have to come up with a name for him and all that kind of stuff Either he can be a full forward. What do the Bulldogs need? Do they need a full forward? Do they need a midfielder? Um, comment down below what you guys think we should do for the COVID Cup. So um, I'll be starting this when the uh, season finishes uh, When the Essendon season finishes this will begin So I hope you guys are ready for it Like I said, I want you guys to comment down below how I can make this immersive, how we want uh, team selection to go down. Do we do it on the Discord every week where we all come out and we, we, we pick the teams? We have to come up with the uh, my player name. Uh, we'll create him. We'll get him as a full forward. We've got him as a backman. What do the Bulldogs need? I personally believe they need a full forward, so we'll probably go with a full forward, and then we'll go from there. The COVID Cup will we begin in, I'd say, maybe a week or two weeks, so get ready for that, the new series on the channel. Um, I hope you guys are ready. We'll be able to complete the 2020 AFL season in its entirety. Uh, we might have like some streams. We can enjoy that. But like I said, what ways do you think we could make this series immersive? Make sure to comment down below and make sure to let me know if you're ready for this series to begin. Make sure to get into the giveaway. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel as we prepare to build for the COVID Cup. Stay blessed, guys.